हॅलो स्टुडंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर एस व्ही अरळीकर फ्रॉम ए आय एस एस एम एस इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी पुणे आय एम वर्किंग ॲज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन फिजिक्स इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग सायन्सेस टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस ऑन मेथड्स to produce interference of light so let us discuss methods to produce or to obtain the interference pattern methods to produce interference of light in the 11th and 12th class you have studied the, the simple method called as young's double slit experiment where this is the source of light in front of which the cardboard containing a single slit is arranged and in front of that there is second cardboard arrange which is containing two slits so this experiment is also referred as young's double slit experiment so it is the wave front coming from the cardboard number 1 is incident on cardboard number 2 which is containing two slits so again the these two slits acts as secondary source of light and the wave disturbances are emitted from that and on the screen we are able to obtain the interference pattern in the form of alternately arrange dark and bright bands so this is the interference pattern produced because of division of wave front meaning that this wave front is divided into two parts at s1 and s2 which again are acting as secondary source of light and they are interfering to produce the interference pattern on the screen so this is one method to produce the interference of light which is division of the wave front now let us see the second method which is referred as interference brought out by means of division of amplitude so if we have the thin film like this which is parallel sided and this thickness of the film is very small which is of the order of wavelength of the light used on which if the beam of light is incident like this at an angle of incidence i then it will be refracted then at the lower surface it is again partially transmitted partially reflected when it reaches the top surface it again partially reflected and partially transmitted at the point where it was incident initially it is partially reflected and partially refracted like that the beam is internally reflected and refracted partially every time and there is system of parallel rays form in the reflected system and in the transmitted system so this is a reflected system 
and this is transmitted system what happens when the thickness of film is very small the rays in the reflected system as well as in the transmitted system they overlap and because they overlap they interfere because they are derived from the same incident beam and hence these rays say r1 r2 r3 r4 and so on they overlap and they interfere this is how the amplitude of the incident component is divided every time and the interference pattern is observed or interference phenomenon is possible by means of division of amplitude so these are the two methods to obtain the interference pattern number 1 division of wavefront and number 2 is division of amplitude i hope the idea and methods are clear to you thank you students